Good day. I'm Dr. Merle Olson. I'm President and Vice President of Research of AVAL Solvet here in Calgary, Alberta, Canada. It's a pleasure to talk to my veterinary colleagues and I'm here to describe what is new with Solvet. Research is an integral activity here at Solvent, and this is why we actually have a motto that says innovation by request, which means we try to develop products based on your requests. And, uh, and I, I do not have time to go into all the research we've been doing in detail, but if you have any questions, please contact a, a veterinary technical uh, veterinarian, and they'll be happy to provide you with published information and any other documentation you would like. I now like to go over some of the research and development programs over the 2020. In 2020, like all years, we seem to be a very busy time for us. Or Maloxa campaign control studies have been a uh, studies have been a long-term research we've been conducting. And we've been actually doing a lot of work on dairy cows. And we've been looking at postpartum pain, whether it's a normal or a, or a dystocia. And I've shown that uh, in our research that we can reduce culling rates uh, and increase uh, milk production and reduce the incidence of certain diseases uh, in, in dairy cattle when they are provided with normal time of calving. There's also, we've actually done similar studies with sows. And in fact, uh, we've been looking at whether oral oxymic time of, of, of uh, farrowing, that we can, if we can provide oral oxycam at time of farrowing, we can reduce the disease incidence uh, 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 in the sows as well as in the piglets. We can also, uh, also look at culling rates conception rates, and uh, litter um, and the litter weights. And actually have shown that we can actually increase the number of piglets that are weaned and their weaning weights. Oral uh, as well with other combinations, have been look, we have been looking at antimicrobial uh, treatment with, uh, with calves with scours. And we've been looking at combining Solvent electrolytes with activated charcoal, meloxicam, as well as, as well as an antibiotic scour bolus. The uh, interesting enough, we've been actually questions come up whether we really need to use antibiotics at time of scouring calves, and and, the, and like always, it's the answer is never simple, but it looks that in many of the cases we can treat calves uh, scouring calves with electrolytes. Uh, charcoal and uh, meloxicam without the necess necessary use of uh, necessity in use of antibiotics. As you have probably found out, we've been actually very active in developing boluses for cattle and both for the dairy and the beef industry. We have developed and, con and then conducted research on our cow boost calcium boluses and actually have found that in many cases, giving two boluses at the time of calving uh, will actually is more beneficial and then giving a, a one bolus at time of calving and one, one uh, 12 hours later. However, it really depends, uh, we've shown it really depends on the herd and it shows an important role uh, the veterinarians play in designing protocols for use of calcium boluses in their dairy herds. We were asked by veterinarians and producers to develop a phosphorus and, and potassium bolus, and we will be launching uh, this product uh, very soon. And I've shown that uh, our research has shown that uh, providing our, our, our KFOS boost bolus at the time of calving uh, will actually uh, allow rapid um, uptake of phosphorus when they really need it. We've also shown that in many, in both in, in, in beef and in dairy cattle, any time an animal is in stress, whether it's a ketosis or a respiratory disease, they may, may become anorexic and actually hypophosphatemic. And the bolus uh, 
will actually address uh, address this issue and the uh, uh, and actually has a very important place as part of uh, treatment for anorexia, which we know has uh, is has limited. Uh, we have limited products available for these cases. We we'll, uh, we'll, we're continuing ongoing research in the phosphorus uh, and potassium treatments, which uh, have limited research uh, in, in the public literature, and we'll be keeping everyone updated on as we collect more and more data. The other great news is that we have actually moved into our new site, and, it'll be, and it will be ready for completion and manufacturing in January 2021. It is located in Calgary, Alberta, and uh, it will be state-of-the-art facility. It's 3,900 square, 39,000 square feet of, of manufacturing and warehousing space. And we would encourage anyone to come and visit our site um, after January when we're all up and running. Thank you very much and have a good day.